Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and boom! In today's video I'll be playing the Dunk Master Darius skin. So this skin is absolutely amazing and yet again I have so much more to teach you about Darius. So in the beginning part of the video I'm gonna explain to you guys how to build Darius. There's timestamps in the description to skip to the gameplay immediately. I mean, I have done pretty well on Darius. Let's ignore that 08 game. No, let's just... I'll edit it out, no problem. But yeah, you know, I've done pretty well on my Darius. As you can see, I've either won every game or I, you know, or I was the MVP loss. So you know, I have changed my mind a little bit about Darius builds because basically I still have three builds, which is number one, the full tank build, number two, the damage build, number three, the semi tank build. Let me tell you about these builds. First of all, this build. I don't really like a lot anymore and the reason is that it doesn't really have major carry potential this is a good build like don't get me wrong it's a good build it's gonna make you insanely tanky but in solo duo and trio kill you need to be the carry right like you can't really rely on your teammates that is where these two builds uh, come on so this build first this is not my number one build. My number one build, believe it or not, is actually this one. But let me tell you the reason that I still actually play this build more often than the other. So this build has more carry potential. The other build makes you tankier and provides more utility to your team. Like the builds are exactly the same except for one item, which is this, the Trinity Force and the Black Cleaver. So the reason that Trinity Force has more carry potential is it has more damage like literally it has more damage you will do more damage per second with it you'll have more attack speed you'll be able to stack up your passive faster so this like all in all your carry potential is way higher with the trinity force but let me tell you why black cleaver is generally gonna be better first of all you're gonna be shredding uh, armor from the enemy secondly if we go to darius actually let me show you guys something real quick this this is really important to understand um so take a look at darius passive Attacks causes enemies to bleed, dealing physical damage over 5 seconds can stack up to 5 times. It is gonna do 5 ticks of damage over the next 5 seconds. So imagine if you hit like 3 enemies with your first ability in a team fight. They're all gonna bleed, they're all gonna be taking physical damage and you're gonna be shredding 25% of all of their armor guys. That is why Black Cleaver is generally gonna be better. Also, also... Black Cleaver gives you 40 attack damage, while Trinity Force only gives you 20 attack damage. So your passive is going to do more damage with the Black Cleaver, and your first ability is going to do more damage. So you have to decide which one you need. So you want to get a Black Cleaver, or you want to get the Trinity Force to increase your chances of carrying the game. Also, Black Cleaver is a must if you're against tanks. Like if you're against a Malphite in the lane, which I am in the gameplay, you should definitely get a Black Cleaver, guys. So as I said, I explained to you guys which first item to get. Second item is like there's two items that i go for as my second item the first one is either a dead man's plate which is going to be your second item in 85 percent of your games the second one is you're not gonna believe it but where is it the maw of marmortius wait before you guys trash talk me wait this item is such a banger on darius so first of all if you're laning against an akali and if the enemy has another ability power champion, you shouldn't finish off your Trinity Force first. The way that you need to build it is, you start with a longsword, uh, then you get, where's the item? Then you get Hex Drinker's second item, and then you finish off your Trinity Force. And after your Trinity Force, you make the Hex Drinker a Maw of Marmorsis. I can guarantee you that you will absolutely destroy the enemy Akali in your lane, or the enemy Cannon, or the enemy Gragas, you know, the Ability Power Champion. So if you're against Ability Power, that's what you do. Otherwise, you go uh, uh, in Trinity Force, and then the Dead Man's Blade. Same goes for the Black Cleaver build, by the way. You can actually delay your Black Cleaver, get the Hex Drinker, and then get Black Cleaver, and then, you know, the same story. Third item, Steric's Gage. Uh, this is just an amazing item on Darius. I mean, of course, it's situational. There are some games where you're going to have to go for uh, 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 Bramblefest. For example, if you're laning against a Mundo or a Fiora, you have to get a Bramblefest early. Like, right after your Trinity Force, get a Bramblefest. So, as I said, it's completely situational. Like, what should I tell you guys? It's completely situational what you go for. If you're against a lot of Burst, you go for a Death Stance. If you really want to chunk down their tanks, you can even go for a Blade of the Moon King. 
Um, guardian Angel, you actually don't want to get Guardian Angel as your third item. Let me tell you the simple reason why. Because Guardian Angel doesn't really work well with the way that Darius works. The way that Darius works is you want to stay alive as long as possible so you can utilize that passive. When you go into that Guardian Angel, there's going to be a pretty big chance that you're going to lose your passive, right? So you don't want to have a Guardian Angel um, on, on, up until your last item or your fourth item, but not before that. Uh, for your enchantment, there's a few that you can go for. The first one is Protobelt, which is my favorite. 95% of the games, I go for a Protobelt. You know, to get close to the enemy and hook them. That's like the main reason for Protobelt. Also, you can combo Protobelt with your first ability. This one is perfect for Darius. Stasis, you don't want to go. For the same reason as Guardian Angel, because Stasis Enchant is going to make you invulnerable and untargetable for 2.5 seconds. So you're going to be losing that passive. Enemies can run away from you, right? So you don't want to go for the stasis enchant. Stone plate can be interesting, especially when you have the black lever. If the enemy, like instead of a stasis enchant, go for a stone plate. You know, if the enemies have champions that can destroy you, don't go for a stasis enchant, go for a stone plate. Much better. Uh, teleport, of course, if you need to teleport. But as I said, 90% of the games or something, you're going to be much better off with the proto belt. For your runes, you can either go for fleet footwork and conqueror, but Go for the Conqueror. Like, Fleet Footwork, if you play Jungle Darius, you should always go for Fleet Footwork, by the way. Just a quick little tip. But in lane, nah. You know, nah. You're going to be lacking so much damage in the late game if you go for Fleet Footwork. So, I don't recommend Fleet Footwork. By the way, another... Like, there is one little disgusting rune that you can go for on Darius, which is Phase Rush. Like, you can go for it. This one is going to give you insane movement speed. If you feel like you can utilize this movement speed... Then you can actually get a phase rush. Like if you're against a Janna and a Misfortune, and the reason why it's good against Misfortune, because Misfortune always goes for Zero Dust Grudge. You know, if you're against if you're against a Nasus, those types of champions who have a lot of slows, you can actually get the phase rush against them. Because as you can see, slow resist 75%. So you you're not only gonna get a lot of bonus movement speed, you're also gonna get slow resist. So just saying, that's those are drafts where you could pick the uh, phase rush second group always triumph like you can go for the brutal i mean you can go for well yeah you can go for brutal but no triumph is in much better give it restores hp when you kill enemies or when you get assists and of course deals three percent more damage to enemies below 35 percent health giving you a higher chance to execute enemies with that all amazing ultimate of darius third one there's two rooms that you can go for hunter titan if the enemy has a lot of cc or adaptive carapace if the enemy doesn't have a lot of CC, of course. Fourth rune, Sweet Tooth, because Sweet Tooth is broken. And then for your spells, you go for Flash, and then Barrier is what you're generally going to be going for, because you want to buy yourself as much time as you can. Ignite would be okay against a Mundo, but I don't recommend an Ignite. You know, Barrier is generally going to be much better, because it buys you time, and if you have your Noxian Might stacks, you're going to do way more damage than the Ignite. Um, and you can also go for the ghost enchant if you feel like you can utilize the bonus movement speed you can go for the ghost enchant keep in mind though you're going to be missing out on the uh oops you're going to be missing out on the barrier if you go for ghost enough about the build let's now get into the gameplay all right on to the gameplay so let me let me already start by teaching you a lot of new things about Darius that i have never taught you before first things first look at what look at where i'm moving I'm moving here, and this is a this is a new thing that I do on, on Darius. I do not take a single upgrade. I move to this bush, and if the enemy gets too close to me, there is two things that you can do. Two things. The first thing is, you upgrade your second ability. You do... Look, look, boom, this. You see this? This was the second thing that I was going to talk about, but the first thing that you can do is you upgrade your second ability. You do basic attack second ability. You're going to slow the enemy and you're going to force a flash for free. You're literally going to force a flash for free. The second thing that you can do is upgrade your third ability if the enemy gets too close. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to hook in the enemy. And that's like a devastating thing. I recommend this one if there is teammates around you. Like if there's teammates to support you, then you want to take the third ability and hook. You saw what I did in the mid lane. It's actually better to burn Morgana's flash for my flash. Because Morgana is really going to need her flash against the fist. That is why I did it. So, yes, that's like a new thing. Look at this. Boom, boom. This was perfect. This combo was the cleanest as it can get. 
So if you want, you can rewind the video. Oh, by the way, I'm doing a 15 skin. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm doing a skin giveaway. We'll see. I am gonna give away something this month. Just put down a comment under this video. I'll figure it out later. Maybe wild passes, maybe skins. We'll see, because there is some problem with wild drift skins. But what I was talking about, that was a perfect combo. Um, look at this, my awareness is perfect here. I know what's happening. I know there is a Fiora, I know there is a Malphite, but I also know my limits. Look, Malphite walks in, boom, boom, hook, boom, first ability, and boom, I have my stacks. I am strong right now. I got the kill, Triumph heals me up, boom, boom, another kill. Let's talk about what happened here. So, with Darius, this is a very important thing. By the way, Morgana died as well, because she didn't have a flash. <laughs> Morgana died as well, that's amazing. Um, um, when Malphite walked into the bush, I was waiting. This is very important to do with Darius, okay? Because there is basically two ways that you can catch an enemy with Darius. The first way is to hook an enemy, basic attack, second ability, exactly like this, right? This is the first way. That's the first way. The second way is you wait in a bush, the enemy face checks, and you do basic attack second ability and then you hook them in this the second combo is way stronger if you can pull it off this one boom boom hook no oh come on are you kidding me i deserve that kill ah but that was the second way to catch an enemy basic attack second ability and then you hook the enemy if the enemy tries to run away this combo will guarantee you to get your stacks right the way that you saw me do it against the malphite was actually basic attack second ability but then i didn't hook him yet i did another basic attack because i didn't have to hook him and then i hooked him so keep that in mind that's like the best way to do it but of course the enemy is not always going to allow you to do that right more often than not you're going to have to hook them to, uh, you're going to have to hook the enemy for them to be close to you another little cheeky little thing on darius by the way oh darius's hook can actually cancel out dashes from the enemy for example um, um, um if tristana wants to jump you hook and you hook her right she, she she's gonna get hooked if pantheon wants to ult you hook if galia wants to ult you hook if jarvan wants to use his flag you hook you know you can do that it's it's really really strong on, for darius to do that especially because we're against the tristana you kind of want to save your hook until she tries to jump away you can hook her back in and she she's just dead oh well she died anyways i guess I was gonna hook her otherwise, nah, unfortunately I didn't get my reset. That's like the thing with Darius, that's a bit annoying. Um, like, getting that reset on your ultimate is of course insanely important in team fights, but your teammates are not always gonna understand that, right? By the way, here I was trying to take the turret, but I realized that I should actually help my team. And yeah, I should definitely help my team. Like, as you can see, it's the right decision to make to help them out. Like, I wanted to get the turret. Yeah, I told them my bad, because I could have actually saved the Fizz if I had helped them. Who? We're gonna kill him, like he's dead. I have my ultimate, so there it is, easy kill. That's the first ultimate reset, by the way. Did you see how cool that looked? That was pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, here, you know, we quickly have to take the turret before uh, before uh, uh, they take our turret in top lane. Because they put down the Herald, and yeah, we got it, easy peasy. This game, by the way, I'm getting a Black Cleaver, and the main reason is because they have a tank Malphite. Wait, did I get a Black Cleaver? I'm pretty sure I should be going for a Black Cleaver in this game. Now, I'm not, I don't remember if I actually did it, but in this game, if I look at it right now, I should. Let's take a look at what happens here. I'm kind of waiting to get a disgusting little hook off. Boom, hooked, boom, boom, slowed under the turret. Dead. You see that? So when you're rooted, you know, when Morgana roots you, as a Darius, you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot move, but you can still use your abilities. As you saw, I actually hooked her in while I was rooted. Basic attack, first ability, like, or, like, sorry, basic attack, second ability, first ability, you can use everything while you're rooted. So keep that in mind. Root, getting rooted doesn't mean that you're going to become useless. It just means that you're rooted in your place, that you cannot move. 
but you can still use abilities you can still use basic attacks of course you cannot use dashing abilities but darius doesn't actually you cannot use your ultimate sorry you cannot use your ultimate when you're rooted that's the only thing that's the only thing um what was i saying oh well, let's take a look at this i have protobelt by the way i cannot get to ah, yeah i cannot reach him unfortunately it was a nice try boom boom i got rooted so i'm screwed look at that root man the duration is insane they used a lot of important abilities on me so it's actually okay we just have to disengage now and yeah get the hell out by the way it's pretty amazing to see that there is like quite a few new people on patreon you know for the coaching because yesterday i uploaded that video right where i was coaching jbone and although you know some people got interested in the coaching you know i got dms about it and you know, you're all welcome of course for the coaching i really love to do it it's like one of the most fun things that i've ever done really coaching because you know what's so fun about it it's so amazing to see the players get better you know like after i do a coaching session then another one and another one and then when i see like major improvement it makes me feel so good you know it's like such a satisfying feeling to me and i think to the player as well so thank you so much for joining that right it's so amazing um yeah by the way like oh damn i actually won like almost every single darius game that i played um, and the ones that I lost, I got MVP in the losing team because my team was really bad in those teams. Only one game I went 0-8. But besides that, like 12 games were something I absolutely hard carried. It was insane. Let's take a look at this. I can't look, look, look. You cannot ult. You see that? You cannot ult. I no, I wanted to go on him as well, but I couldn't. But you cannot ult when you're rooted. That's the only thing. So pretty annoying. By the way, I thought like this tip. You're not going to be utilizing it too often, but it's just good to know. Darius's ultimate makes him unstoppable. So, if like if you have the opportunity to ult the enemy, you can maybe decide to wait and ult when they throw some CC on you. For example, if Morgana tries to root you and you use your ultimate exactly before her root, like your timing has to be perfect, you are going to dodge the root. Keep that in mind, you know, uh, this is a thing that you're probably not going to be utilizing too much because the unstoppable time duration is only like 0 0.2 seconds, but it's just good to know, right? It's good to know. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill there. Well, we still killed the Senna, but wow, look at that Nami bubble though. Unfortunately, I didn't get that kill there. Damn. Wow. You're a triple kill. Damn. That's not good. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, well, I guess they just get the dragon. Yes, I went for a black cleaver this game. Later on in this game, actually, you're gonna see how important of a decision it's gonna be that I went for a black cleaver. Because as I said, black cleaver does make you tankier than a Trinity Force, because it gives you like 350 bonus max health. Look, they got the dragon. And I wanna tell you guys more about itemization. As you saw right there, I immediately uh, pre-ordered the Bramble Fest. Immediately. There is multiple reasons for that. The first reason is... Look, look, you can cancel it. You see that? I cancelled his jump. I timed it perfectly and I cancelled his jump. I got killed, but it's okay. The reason that it's okay is because they used so many important abilities on me. My team should be able to win. Or at least have a massive advantage. Because... They used so many important abilities to kill me that it's actually okay to die. But what was I saying? Uh, what was I saying? I was talking about something. I think the Black Cleave... Oh, sorry, the Bramblefest. Yeah. The reason that I'm going Bramblefest, first of all, they just got the Ocean Dragon, which means they're all gonna get 8% Omni Vampirism. Second reason, Fiora's passive heals her up when she hits Vitals. And she has a Blade of the King. Third of all, uh, 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 well, actually, that's it. No, that's it. Those that, that's already enough of a reason to go for it. Boom. My ultimate. Ah, I don't even need the ultimate. It's fine. Going for the Tristana. Oh, let me tell you guys a thing on Darius that you're going to love. Darius. Oh, take a look at this, by the way. This is so tilting. Ah, 
ay, ay, ay. Why did I not just use the proto belt? Like I was thinking about it. I was thinking about just proto belting the bush, but I thought I would catch her anyways. But oh, I should have just used my proto belt to cancel her her backboard. I just, why was I so greedy? Um, yeah, a thing about Darius is he is. Okay, Darius is the best champion in the game to listen carefully. He is the best champion in the game to capitalize on a bad enemy. Bad enemy as in like if one of the enemies is bad, Darius is the best champion to capitalize on that. What I mean with that is you can like, for example, the enemy Tristana in this game is not really playing too well. You're going to be seeing what I'm going to do in team fights. In team fights, I'm mainly going to be focusing the Tristana. I didn't get my reset, but I'm mainly going to be focusing the Tristana to get my ult reset on her. Cuz you know, she's not a very good player and she's kind of screwing up her positioning. So, you actually see that I'm mainly going to be going on the Tristana to try to get my ult reset on her. I mean, not yet, but later on I will. Uh, so Darius is one of those champions that can do that and then after you get your reset, of course, you're going to wipe the entire enemy team, right? Because that's how Darius works. Oh, that's a good hit. I have Proto Belt. There we go. She used her second ability. That's why I used my Proto Belt and Hook. Unfortunately, she went a little too far, but it's okay. We got the turret. It's fine for us. Hey, what day is it today? <laughs> Ah, it's Friday. Wait, let me check something real quick. Hey, two other people joined the Patreon. Let's go. Oh, that's so amazing. I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to the coaching sessions, man. That's so amazing. Uh, I love it. I love it. It's so amazing. Okay, what happened in the game that I missed? Look, I'm waiting in the bush. Of course, this is another thing. Basic attack, second ability. Hook, basic attack. Oh, I filled my basic attack, but we forced a flash. This Remember when I was telling you about the two ways to catch out an enemy? This is the second way. Another thing about Darius, by the way, which is very important. When an enemy is chasing you... Let's take a look at this fight first. I don't know what that hook was. I had, like, I had to disengage completely. I kind of screwed up my positioning. Look what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm not helping, I'm backboarding. Now, why, you may think? Why would I leave my team alone? Why? Let me tell you why. My team can hold their ground in a 4 versus 5, right? Maybe they're not going to win the fight, but they can hold their ground. As you can see, they're not necessarily doing the best, but they're holding their ground. Um, ah, beautiful Fizz ult. So I went back, got back to full HP, and now I have everything up and watch me. Look, Tristana's right there. I'm constantly paying attention to Tristana because I want to catch the Tristana. She is the bad, she is the weak link in the enemy. So I can just kill her and get the ultimate reset, all right? So let's take a look. I'm just looking at the Tristana right now. I mean, there is a Fiora, but I'm not mainly focused on it. Look, immediately jump on the Tristana. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, look at that, this is exactly what I mean, you will absolutely destroy the enemy and the enemies have no chance, oh, boom, boom, ah, okay, not enough, it's okay, we got the dragon, but you see what I mean there, so what I was trying to tell you guys before the fight started, if an enemy is chasing you, this is another thing that Darius is really good at, um, especially after you get that man's blade, by the way, but let's say an enemy is chasing you, and the enemy is a bit faster than you, what do you do as a Darius when you're at a low amount of HP? You cannot escape. So, while you're running, you use your first ability and try to hit it on the enemy. This is, this is going to give you a stack of Noxine Might. And it's going to heal you up equal to 12% of your max HP. So that's a lot of healing. Then you can decide, okay, do I want to continue running? Or do I want to cheese the enemy and, and uh, 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 take the fight? I've had many occasions where an enemy chased me and I used my first ability, I hit it, then I do basic attack second ability, then I hook them, basic attack, ult, I kill them. Like, these are the things that Darius can do. Oh, beautifully played by the Fiora, oh my god. She blocked my hook beautifully. 
So while I am dead for 45 seconds, let me teach you another thing about Darius. Um, um, at level one, you know, level one, I already told you about that way to catch out an enemy, but there is another thing that Darius can do. This is what I like to call the cheese threat. So if you are against an enemy that you can very easily out trade uh, in short trades, for example, against, uh, uh, against an Akali, against a Fiora, against a uh, uh, Wukong, against, you know, these types of champions, what you can do, you see that bush right there? You can hide in that bush, because the enemy is very likely going to be, uh, uh, very likely going to be leashing the red buff. Then the enemy is going to walk through that bush. What you are going to do is you're going to take your second ability. You do basic attack, second ability, basic attack. You know, also champions like Aurelia. What that's going to do, it's going to get the enemy to like 50, 60% HP. And you are going to be at at least 90% HP. Of course, I didn't do it this game because I was against a Malphite. You're not going to outtrade a Malphite like that because he has that passive shield. But this is basically a way to guarantee you winning your lane in like at least 60% of your games. Trust me, it's insane how powerful it is. So, I got the Senna. So yes, do that, you know, give it a try, see how it works for you. I'm just telling you that it works. If you do it correctly, it works. Quick little tip though, make sure you put a, make sure you put a wart in this bush right here. Because, yeah, if the enemy is really smart, uh, the Baron laner and the jungler can actually wait in that bush and kill you when you go for the strategy. So keep that in mind. Put a ward in that bush first and then move in the little bush right there. You can choose the enemy and you can already win your lane. Enemy actually stole the Baron. Wow, that's uh, that kind of sucks. But you can see in this game right now that my tankiness is very important, right? Like my tankiness has been very important, has been a very important factor to us winning fights. If I went for the Trinity Force build, first of all, I wouldn't be able to chunk down the Malphite. Secondly, enemy would have killed me way faster, right? So Black Cleaver, very good in situations like this. By the way, um, when you're against a Morgana, uh, Mercury's threats don't work. Tenacity doesn't work against Morgana. So believe it or not, in this game, I, actually, I think I actually went for the Adaptive Carapace. And as you can see, yes, I have 0% Tenacity. So I went for Adaptive Carapace and I went for the Plated Steel Caps. Because as I said, there is a bug in the game right now. Um, um, uh, Morgana's first ability doesn't get blocked by tenacity. So the duration is still going to be 2.7 seconds or something like that. Look, I'm playing very aggressively because I am the tank and Nami is constantly buffing me up. So my positioning is very aggressive, right? Like I have to be the tank. In this game, my team doesn't have a single tank. So I have to be the tank. I want to push out this wave before we fight, but they're going for the fight. So I'm just leaving the lane and going from behind. You know, I'm sneaking in from behind and giving them a pleasant little surprise right here. And there I am. Look, boom, boom. Didn't get my reset. My team is just doing too much damage, I guess. No. Nice. Yeah. So especially when you are the only tank, as a Darius, um, um, you need to be the one that initiates fights, right? You need to be the one in the front. Sure, you can take a lot of damage. Sure, they could kill you, but they're going to have to use a lot of abilities to kill you if you go for the Black Cleaver build, of course. So that's another way to decide whether or not you need a Black Cleaver, by the way. Here, we just need to go for the Dragon. We can bait the Fiora and then kill her. Well, I guess they baited her and killed her already, so that's also fine. But we need to go for it. A, one person has to go back, by the way. As you can see, I already realized that someone needs to clear out the wave. I am not doing it, however, because I want to make sure we got this dragon. But for some reason, just no one is backboarding. So, all right, I guess. Don't really know what the Senna was trying to do there, because Senna's ultimate doesn't do any damage to objectives. So, you know, a bit weird to say that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to clear out their jungle. The reason that I'm going to clear out their jungle is I need 1600 gold for my Guardian Angel. 
So I'm just clear, quickly clearing out their jungle, I'm gonna get the Guardian Angel and I'll be unkillable. As I said, Guardian Angel is your last item is still good, regardless of the fact that it doesn't synergize well with Darius passive. So, yes. Now I get the Guardian Angel, like, I have all, I almost have 4000 HP and I'm just, I'm just unkillable right now. I'm completely unkillable, especially with the Nami as well. Yeah, like... No, I wanted to flash on her, but she rooted me. That's so sad. I'm really trying to reach them, come on. I have a flash. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that damage. She's just instantly dead. Like, instant. Yeah, we pretty much won the game right now, so it's, it's like, it's over. There it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. Oh, my phone is a bit low. Boom, and we get the dunk at the ending as well. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. I need to go to bed because it's 1am as well. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I got a good video. I have to edit this video still, but yeah, of course I'm going to make a nice edit out of this video. I'm actually already master. Huh. Yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.